Welcome to the All In Red channel, conquering the game of life. We're playing classic fixed 120 second timer and with two bots. I've been digging this setup for a while. I like having two bots because they kind of balance each other out. Um, and I know how to control the environment better. Let's take a look at my opponent. Wow, 1885 games played. Uh, defeated more troops than lost. So uh, this guy is either a master or a grandmaster. Okay, let's see here. Uh, but strikes up into Siberia. Looks to be very well populated around Europe, surrounding uh, the other black bot. Now my opponent, Marvin S. Turn. Marvin, we'll call him. Marvin, plants in South America. Surprised he didn't go for Australia, but it looks like he's going towards Africa. And strikes me out of Eastern Australia. That was kind of the key spot. Now he practically took me out of Africa and Australia. Actually not just practically, but literally did. So I'm a bit on a pickle here. I'm starting my turn off with four troops. I want to kind of keep an even balance here. I want to keep a check on white, but also you'll notice that I have some weight here to throw at white from the west. I'm going to bring my five down from Central America. And then I'm also going to take porcelain out of that area of Asia. Because notice how white is kind of stuck up here for now in Yukust. Or Urkust. I keep forgetting those the name of that spot. I think it's Urkust. Okay, black bot's turn again. So I plugged up black bot in South America. Blackbot isn't going to really have much maneuverability yet. Usually the bots take about two or three turns each time and um, you can kind of tell their trends if you pay attention enough to it. Like I noticed that Hot Pink Bot has took White out of Ontario. A pretty hard to reach spot, so good for me there. So that kind of limits my opponent to Australia or Africa. Not too worried about that spot in Urkust yet. So far my opponent has not taken over a comment. And notice how Marvin has uh, put a lot of pressure towards me. And I want to put just enough there. I'm still blocking White from being able to take over Africa. And so I'm directly putting myself in front of White's front doorstep there in Australia. Now White may have me a, a little outweighed in Asia and White does have a card advantage. So I'm trying to balance myself out between South America and towards Australia mostly to keep an eye on White from taking over a continent. The bots can contend with one another. Ooh look at that! Black bot fortifying troops from Japan over to Mongolia to put even more weight in front of Marvin up in Northern Asia. It'd be wonderful if a uh, hot pink bot can take Marvin out of Urkust. That would be absolutely wonderful, but I don't know. He still has a pretty strong stash there in Urkust. Uh, looks like Porcelain's going to go up into Europe. Not quite ready to take over Connet just yet. He sees what's developing here. He, he knows he's pinched in the central. And I'm going to go right down and take a risk here. And blast white out of Western Australia. Notice how I took that power move. Yes, it was risky, but I did have white outweighed in that particular corner of the map. 
and I just went for it because I figured I don't want to keep playing around with white. You need to take risks, you need to take your shots, and I did so. If I happen to lose there, then well, I could still recover in South America as a mitigation move. So I see Black Bot kind of surrounding me in South America. I know my days are numbered there if I don't move out. Black Bot is still a bit too heavy for me to take over South America safely. Especially with my opponent having the card advantage over me. I don't want to get too thin. I want a strong 9 in Brazil. And look at that. Ooh, I thought that Hot Pink was going to take Marvin out of Urkust. So Marvin has some breathing room in Northern Asia. And now it turns into match. Only a 4 trooped match though. So that's kind of good for me that White got his match out of the way. So he is well weighed now in Siberia. He still has some brush to uh, work through to get to me in Australia. Now it's my turn. And I'm just going to take another shot. It's a little risky for me if I plant in Western Australia and uh, target Eastern Australia. But I'm looking over my situation. I don't want to quite come out of Brazil to North Africa yet because I don't want to expose Marvin's heavy nine in Western Europe. I can't really strike from Indonesia. I mean, I suppose I could, but that'd be a, a very risky blow up into Siam, and I don't want to thin any more forces out in Marvin's pathway down into Australia. So the best shot I have is to actually take the shot into Eastern Australia. If I'm successful here, then I can own a continent. Ooh, look at that. Great shot. And I take over Eastern Australia. Now I'll shove that extra couple up in Indonesia to match hot pink bots for in Siam. Now it's going to be a lot harder for Marvin to come down into Australia. He has 5, 9, 13 troops to the cut through. Actually, now more. Notice how Black Bot put an additional couple forces there in China. And Hot Pink Bot is surrounding Marvin in Europe. So either way, Marvin has a lot to cut through. Now Marvin has some breathing room up in Northern Asia. But it's going to be hard for Marvin to really maneuver here. Now he takes over Africa. And he allows me to come into Africa. I happen to have a match and I'm thinking, well, should I turn it in now or gamble and wait another turn to get a full 10 trooped match? That's a tough spot to be in because either way it's going to be hard for me to strike anywhere. So I'm just going to take my bonus because if I strike towards towards Black Bot in South America and not attack into White, then White holds onto a continent. So I'm just going to take my match now, blow into Africa, and I lose one there, but, you know, have no fear, blast right through, and take your shot, and I did. And now I have enough to take over Africa, actually. So again, I took two kind of risky blows. They were calculated risks, since I did outweigh my opponent in both situations, but it's not ever a guarantee that you win just because you have more troops. So um, there's really no other way around that one, just like I felt like there's really no other way around the Australia situation with White. I had to attack White. I had to be the aggressor. Otherwise, uh, White might have been the aggressor, taking over two continents if I would have allowed him. So all my force went towards White in Africa and Australia. And it paid off for me. Now it's going to be very hard for White to really get through to me. Uh, being surrounded by all that bot. Uh. You know, just kind of hanging up there in Northern Asia. Has three cards, could have another match, and if so, could levy some damage on me, but I have a feeling I'll be able to hold on to at least one continent. You know, try to protect myself a little better there in Indonesia. So that way Hot Pink Bot doesn't tamper with me. I'll try to protect myself a little better in North Africa. 
uh, in hopes that Blackbot doesn't come across with that four in Brazil. So my best shot is that one spot in the Middle East. My best maneuver really is to just leave it right there. I don't really anticipate holding on to Africa since there is there are heavier forces and and white is pretty heavy in northern Asia and could always come across to me. Would probably thin out if he doesn't have a match quite a bit, but would still have to go through a lot of weight to get to me. Bubblegum bot, look at that, puts heavy forces in Siberia right in front of Marvin. But strikes into Urkust, and look at that hot pink. Went north rather than south. They're from Siam. You can tell Hot Pink is hungry for Europe. Only has one spot to deal with in Iceland. So I'm thinking that Hot Pink will uh, occupy Europe and Black Bot will occupy South America and then ultimately put a crunch on me in there uh. in Africa. So my days in Africa are numbered like they were in South America. So it's time to start maneuvering to get into Marvin. Look at Marvin. Marvin's no dummy. He's trying to play the board in the in the safest ways he can. He's now safely pinched in Kamchatka. I mean, no other surrounding force is going to be able to get to Marvin anytime soon. Marvin may have enough time to gain another match and become very heavy in some central spot of the map. Like if he went into North America and the bot starts surrounding him then um, he'd be safe there. So what I'm trying to do here is I want to bust through some bot because I don't want black to get too strong and put too much of a pinch on me. I'm counting the number of bot troops in South America. I count six. And so I gamble now. No, it's too, it's too soon, I think. I may, even if I was successful, may only be left with one or two troops in Venezuela. I don't want to be left so weak for then Marvin to come down and get into South America. Notice how Black Bot does not come across to me in Africa. I've learned the bot behavior quite well, folks. And now Hot Pink has some maneuverability to strike elsewhere other than Africa and does so. So I hold on so far to two continents. Let's see what Marvin does. He has one card, so most he'll have here is 27 in Kamchatka. Look, he doesn't have any very easy spots to go at. Right now, if I was Marvin, I would take my move now, my strike at least down, and hit either Africa or Australia up. But it looks like he didn't move at all. So now it's my turn. I hold on to the two continents, along with a full 10 troop match. And I even had a bonus territory in Western Australia to help me out. So I'm going to use this excess here since uh, Marvin is dormant. To take over South America now, limit the bot's power. Now, Black Bot will have five cards, so we'll turn in a match. And notice how I did that in good time, because otherwise, if it was if it was Marvin's first turn act, he may have been tempted to try to take Black out of the game and then gain Black's cards, five cards, and then turn in another match. And look at that. Black Bot put a heavy 15 in Alaska, but then shoves a bunch out. Wow, and into Ontario. So that opens the door a little bit for Porcelain to be able to come down and tamper with me in South America, and then even perhaps Africa. Be a bit of a stretch. But uh, Marvin will get 30 troops here in Kamchatka. Let's see if he makes any moves. No. No move, Marvin. I don't think that strategy is going to quite work out for you, buddy, because the more dormant you are, the more space I have to roam about the world. And I am. Now I feel safe to take over Europe. Why not? My opponent is dormant then the red will play. See, what I'm really trying to do is get white to actually move because I need him to dwindle down that 30 and time for me to gain a match and meet him at his fate. I should safely hold on to at least one continent, and that's Australia. So when I do work up 
do have another match. I'll be very rich in troops. I'm trying to entice Marvin out of Kamchatka down into South America because as you can see, look how much weight's in between. We have 12, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, I think thought moved a few out of there so about 20 troops between Marvin and Europe so that's fine by me because I'll have enough force and enough weight to even if Marvin attacked me in those areas to pounce right back and take him out of the game and then, ooh, he is coming through finally he's awakened and now he is tearing down, losing bunches on the way, minus five there in the Venezuela. So the um, the outcome is actually greater than I expected. Now he does take over South America, but he blasts into North Africa, took the bait, and had a oh look at this! I get a match, a full ten troop match, a three cards. And then on top of that, starting off my turn with seven troops. And Marvin, I'm sorry, buddy, but you are about ready to get blasted off the map here. Minus only nine and in North Africa, and I should safely be able to take over South America. Let's see. And I do. Retaliation was successful. Now I get my forces out of Ukraine because I know Hot Pink will likely strike there. So, might as well save my troops, protect myself a little bit better in Venezuela. As you can see, now Marvin has just these few little one spots. Um, I'm surprised if the bot doesn't take him out first. Nope, doesn't. So, poor Marvin has left only in Alberta with only a total of four troops. Him where is he going to strike? Nowhere. He's basically waving the white flag, the same color as his troops. And now down you go, Marvin. Good game. And until next time, keep that fire burning.